This is a view of the widespread smoke from the wildfires in Canada reaching Marion County. The Haletown Volunteer Fire Department sent us this picture. David, looks like the smoke and haze have reached our area. Yeah, and it's uh, playing a little bit of havoc with our air quality here in the Tennessee Valley as well. This is a great picture of that haze creating a nice looking sunset, though. I uh, kind of saw uh, Mick Gerling. Thank you for sending that in. And you can send pictures in too, whether at local3news.com. We love getting them. Well, here is a future scan image of the smoke, and you can see the yellow that indicates where it's a little bit thicker and that is causing some problems. Now, moving through the day tomorrow, I think we'll start out with haze, and then you might see it clearing a little bit as that smoke thins out just a bit and we start to see our winds shifting and coming more out of the south. For us, our air quality is in the high end of the moderate category where it's 76. Uh, that's moderate and maybe a problem for unusually sensitive breathing conditions. So maybe you want to limit your outdoor activities, especially tomorrow morning. And for our friends, and this is just until midnight, a code orange air quality alert above 4,000 feet across southwest North Carolina, including Cherokee County. 76 right now in Chattanooga, 73 in Cleveland. Dalton at 74. Uh, overall felt pretty good today. It was a typical summer June day. The official high made it to 90. 92 is the forecast high and that is within the three degree guarantee. So we put another $10 in the jackpot, $270 and you could win every penny plus more if we make it tomorrow and the next day. Register at local3news.com slash three dash degree and we would love to put that in your hand and we also donate matching amount to a local charity. So it's good stuff. Warming up a bit tomorrow, 90 four degrees and it will be muggy tomorrow afternoon as well. Calling it a storm alert weather day tomorrow through Saturday. Possible strong thunderstorms popping up. Very hit and miss Thursday late in the afternoon into the evening hours. And then for Friday and Saturday, it's going to be all about the heat as the highs get into the upper 90s and the heat index soars to above 105. And we already have a heat advisory issued for Friday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Central for Northeast Alabama communities. Heat index expected to be up to 109 degrees. Meanwhile, for Grundy, Van Buren County, an excessive heat warning in effect as we may see that heat index getting up to about 111 on Friday and we'll probably match that on Saturday and Sunday. Also, maximum heat index for Friday here in the Tennessee Valley. 107, 107 Saturday, and then back down to 101 Sunday and 96 Monday as we see cooler weather and even some wet weather moving in. So a quick look at our future cast. It's going to show uh, clouds streaming in on Thursday, and this is where we may get some late day spotty showers and thunderstorms during the late afternoon, the evening hours. This is about 8 o'clock, and then by 10 o'clock we see everything pressing on out, and then on Friday morning looks like we may have a few more scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder to deal with, and even a few spotty showers and storms Friday afternoon as well. Uh, looking at a very low end risk of maybe one or two of those storms approaching severe limits with our wind, but even that is only a 5% risk. So I don't think this uh, severe threat is great, nor will it be Friday. Again, a marginal risk of one or two of those storms producing some strong winds. Storm alert weather day as the heat and humidity move in through Saturday and then Sunday into next week. We keep the rain chance in there pretty decent with highs cooling back down to 90 degrees.